let's just cut right to the chase, shall we? This month, or last month at least, was by far my busiest month in my entire life. And there's a lot to talk about um, as a result of that. Uh, not so much the month itself. I, I'm fine with working myself to death as long as I get a break every once in a while. But I'm more concerned today about the aftermath of said work. Now, if you've been paying attention over the last month, obviously a lot has happened. Um, especially on the YouTube space. Creators are leaving faster and more frequently than ever before. And like, just contained to my channel, I've been uploading a lot with Pony Island and The Hex and Jolly 3 and the Nindor film. There has been a lot of content this month. On top of that, I've had loads of exams. Well, actually, just two major exams. One of them took basically my entire week, so I had to pretty much hyper-focus on that for a week. Plus, I've had to finish up other school projects that I didn't get done on time. And even more recent school projects that, you know, I had a deadline for. There has been a lot, but I don't want to talk about that. Because that's not the important thing. I mean, obviously, that is important, you know? It's, it's a nice lesson about, you know, how you should take breaks, which... I'll get to later, because I will be taking a break, but I'll get to the details of that a little later. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like the aftermath, though, is more important to start off with. But before we get to that, uh, I have a list here of the three main topics that we're going to be talking about. And the first one is actually about Matt Pat retiring, because I don't know if you noticed in my initial video, but I wasn't done talking about that yet. Obviously, I've talked about how MatPat's been a big inspiration. Yeah, um, MatPat has definitely influenced my storytelling abilities, all that, you know that. But I wanted to talk less about my experiences with MatPat and more on a broader scale. Now, right after that video, uh, not my video, MatPat's, like, video, Goodbye Internet, you know, the one. Uh, right after that video was released, he released a GT Live uh, and in that GT Live, he linked an email that you could send a video to of you saying that was just a theory. And I've obviously sent my video, uh, so I have the chance of being in a game theory video. I, I don't think I'm going to, though, because here, here's essentially what I did. I, I rambled. So that obviously lessens my chances of being in anything game theory related, because, you know, obviously they don't want to listen to me ramble about how... Matt Pat was a big inspiration. Well, actually, that wasn't the only thing I talked about in that video. The other thing I talked about in the video I sent was how I wouldn't mind if I didn't make it into this video, this live stream, whatever it's going to be, I wouldn't mind. And here's why. I wouldn't want to take away this opportunity for anyone. And obviously, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime chance, but I, if I get rejected for someone else to be let in, that would probably be even better, if I'm being honest. Like, obviously, you know, who wouldn't want to be in a Game Theory video? Who wouldn't want to be in the final MatPat Game Theory video, or live stream, or whatever this is? But I feel like if I can give up my right to be in this thing for someone else to get a chance, that is something I would prefer over being in it myself. Because I, I, I don't want to be selfish like that. Plus, they probably have no idea who I even am. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I feel about the situation. Um, and then obviously at the end of the video, I did as they asked. I said, but hey, that's just a theory. Mine was a bit lame, though. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I probably should have done it a bit better. <laughs> but I also had no idea, like, what they were going to use this for, like, if they were gonna, like, send an invite to me, like, inviting me to be on a stream, or if they were gonna use it in a montage of, like, maybe they have a montage of people saying, hey, that's just a theory, which will be quite awkward for me, because mine is <laughs> pretty lame. So essentially, I've already sent in my video, and I'm not expecting to get in. And quite honestly, even if I do, I feel like it would be better if I didn't. Now, uh, obviously, MatPat has had a huge impact on me and my channel with Teddy's show and an indoor film, and he's, he's pretty much changed the way I look at storytelling as a whole. 
And I, I've made a couple theories myself, you know, uh, and I, I actually, uh, I have a, an upcoming theory on the FNAF books that, quite honestly, I don't feel will be controversial. Uh, I feel like people will try to make it controversial, but I, I feel like it will actually solve a lot about the series. Um, so I'm really excited to share that with you uh, soon, after my break, which, again, I'll get to later. But MatPat was a big part of my life. I started watching his Mario theories, which, I mean, a lot of people started there, too. Um, and I don't exactly know how I got to the FNAF theories, but somehow I ended up watching his FNAF theories every so often. Um, I actually missed a few, which I found out just recently, like last year. So that was a surprise to me. And ever since then, I've been tuning in. I've been tuning into game theory, film theory, all the meta theories. The meta theories are good. I actually really like them. They're, uh, they're especially helpful for me. Um, and then when the ARG came out, well, not when it came out, when I found out about it, I, uh, I definitely participated. I cheated, so I hope to redeem myself soon. Uh, I actually did start a, an ARG series for the GTARG, but I didn't finish it because Beta Gate 3 Key 2 uh, requires tools that I either don't have or don't know how to use. Um, so I've just been waiting to like for, for the opportunity to like reach out and like find out more about what I can use, what the best tools are, you know, how to, how to optimize my chances of actually getting through this legitimately. But in the meantime, I feel like I'll just move on to the main gates, um, and then finish the beta gates later. And then, when Food Theory launched, I was super excited about that because I love food. And then when Style Theory launched, I was honestly a bit surprised it wasn't Book Theory, but I can also see why it wouldn't be Book Theory, because there'd probably be some weird copyright laws uh, involving that. Yeah, MatPat has been a huge part of my life and so many others' lives. He's been some people's childhoods. He's been part of my childhood. I had a very large range of YouTubers in my childhood, but he's definitely been a big part of mine, and I'm sad to see him go. We are all sad to see him go. But hey, he's still technically going to be kicking around. He's got a lo-fi series, he's got a new animated show, he's got a video game in the works, which I am so excited for, and I will 100% be playing that on my channel. Absolutely. But I think it's important to remember, this is, this is for the best. Um, and I'm so happy for MatPat and just everyone else on the team, and it's sad to see him go, but at the end of the day, it was great to have him around, and I think that is the mentality that we should have here. We should be happy that we even got him at all. We should be happy that he was even around to make our childhoods. And we... I will miss Matt Pat. We will all miss Matt Pat. And I wish him well on his next endeavor. Whatever that ends up being, I wish him the best. And I'm excited for what he has in store for us in the future. And I hope that he continues to do great things. And I hope that now that a big chunk of his workload has been taken off, I hope he can enjoy life. And I'm going to miss him. But I'm excited to see what he and the new hosts have in store. Anyway, sorry if that got a bit repetitive. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's about all I wanted to say. I'm gonna have a hard time with this. But I'm okay with it.
I'm okay with it. So, the next subject I have on my list is Neath, a big project that I've been working on, uh, Neath Lukewarm Edition, uh, as it will be known. Um, if you don't know my previous Lukewarm Editions, it's where I take a song that someone else has made and I make a, a new video for it in my own style. Um, and it's really just an editing test, uh, for me at least, just to like stretch the boundaries of what I can do and how I can do it. Um, but I honestly find them really fun to make, and Neath especially was really fun to make. However, it has come to my attention, uh, due to recent circumstances, that I am not going to be able to finish this version of Neath. And here's why. First of all, the house has changed. My house has changed, and it looks completely different. And I feel like having footage from a past version of this house that was one way versus having footage from a new version of house that makes entire rooms look completely different, I feel like that would be a bit disorienting uh, for a lot of people. Um, it's also been especially hard to try and find someone to play the roles that I can't play. Um, and it's for those reasons that I am officially announcing the partial cancellation of Neath. The reason why I say partial is because it won't be cancelled necessarily. I will still be doing it in the future, but it'll be more high quality, um, probably with sets or like some... It, it'll, it'll be more high quality and it'll be a bigger production than it was. Now, with all that being said, that doesn't mean I'm just gonna get rid of Neath, just entirely. I will be releasing a version of Neath, an unfinished version, because there are parts that have been, you know, left out because we haven't recorded them and we haven't gotten to do them yet, but I will be releasing what we have got done, just so that the project doesn't go to waste. And it will be fully lyricized, all the lyrics will be on the screen. There'll be a lot of just blank screens, so what I've decided to do for that is move the lyrics from the bottom to the middle, uh, so that... For those parts, it's just a sliver bit more entertaining. I don't think that was English, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, so essentially, Neath is, uh, is gonna be releasing soon, unfinished. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy what we did get done, because we did work really hard on it. Uh, and even if it's not the complete product, um, we hope you can enjoy what we have got. All right, so now the most important thing uh, well, actually, not necessarily. I think MatPat's probably more important than this. Um, but the most important thing for the channel, just specifically this channel, is there's going to be a lot of channel updates. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, my video count has dropped significantly from 400 to half of that. And that is because over this last month, uh, due to my, you know, heavy workload, I've realized that I am getting very close to a point where I am going to need a job soon. And my biggest goal for the majority of my life has been to make YouTube my job. And the reason why I've been deleting those videos is, you know, digital footprint. I... I want to wipe out all the embarrassing stuff, all the stupid, funny, haha -ha stuff, and I, I want to only leave the stuff that I feel is good. Because that way, when people look back on my channel, <laughs> they won't be making fun of me. Um, but it's also because I, I need to get YouTube as a job, and so I need to cut corners. And I need to start making some changes, some big changes. And one of those huge, monumental changes is the removal of the character arc. Now, I haven't worked on this for a long time, so it may make sense. It makes sense to me if none of you know what this is, or a, a, a large subset of you don't know what this is. But basically, it was like Markiplier's character stuff, or Crank Gameplays, or anyone else who does characters, Jacksepticeye, all that. And it was basically just my version of it. And I found that, over time, I enjoyed it less and less, because the story was just too complicated. There was too much going on, 
and there was too much to try to explain with so little time in my life. And you know, if I have to say so little time in my life, there's probably a bit too much in the story. Uh, and there was. There was so much in the story. Um, and I just didn't enjoy making it. So I've decided to just cut out the character arc. Which is another reason why I'm cutting out uh, Neith as well. Because Neith actually has a reference to the character arc in it. And with the deletion of the character arc, obviously the deletion of Neith needs to happen because it's continuing an arc that I am no longer working on. I'm also removing a lot of my school-related videos um, because the character arc did start from school-related videos and has had its footing in school-related videos ever since. And so I just thought, wipe them out too. Especially Romeo and Juliet. It, that... Romeo and Juliet was a great project, don't get me wrong. It was fantastic. However, it's not quite the stuff I want to make. So it's gone. Uh, Macbeth is gone, though nobody really knew about that one. And a couple of other school-related videos are gone. George wants to help, all that. So yeah, that that's definitely a huge change for my channel. I've also deleted a couple of, like, miscellaneous videos that don't really quite fit into the big categories. I probably wouldn't even be able to tell you what they are. I know I deleted my redo of my Minecraft survival series, which I will probably be re-redoing. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I will probably be re-redoing at some point down the line. But the big reason why I'm doing all of this is because I want to leave the past in the past and focus on the future of the channel now. Because the future of the channel is going to determine the future of my life. Because if this isn't successful, and I don't get a job off of it, I'm going to end up with a job that I don't enjoy. Now granted, there are backup plans that I do have in place, like author. I can be an author. I already have a book in the works. I've meaning to get that audiobook out, by the way, uh, of the original version of uh, the book. But yeah, I have a rewrite of a book coming out that I'm planning on publishing to a website that I can actually trust will be able to sell it. I also have the video game thing. Video game developer. That's another big thing that I can do to uh, make money. Speaking of video games, I have recently decided to cut all FNAF games, uh, FNAF-related fan games that I have for now, um, especially Grand Reopening, because Grand Reopening wasn't even a game that I was planning to make in the first place. I... It, it was meant to be a practice game for some of the bigger projects re regarding FNAF. But in all honesty, I didn't want to do it in the first place. It was purely for practice purposes. And I... I... I didn't want to do something I don't enjoy. That's that's really the big theme here. I don't want to keep doing things that I don't enjoy. And I want to focus on the stuff that I will enjoy and that I'll actually be able to make a living off of. Like YouTube, like video game development, like being an author, all of these things. And I, I feel like with that comes a lot of hard work. And that's why over the last month I've been revisiting old series. And over the next few months I'm going to be revisiting old stuff. Reviving old serieses. And even doing some new stuff. Uh, me and Owen have a project coming up together. Um, so far I think it's going great. Uh, we finally have a basic story for it. So once, uh, once Canada stops being itself and we actually have grass we can actually start filming that. Uh, we'll probably be doing some location scouting and, you know, script writing and whatnot before all of that, just to prepare for what's to come. But essentially, big things are coming for this channel, and some sacrifices had to be made. But at the end of the day, it's all for the betterment of... Well, I guess me. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who benefits from this. Uh, that seems kind of scummy. My goal in all of this is 
to start making enough money that I can give money to people. Um, and not just, like, big charities, though I probably will be doing a bit of that as well. I, I want to give money to the less fortunate, and not just money, I want to help small channels grow. And I feel like even now I'm in the perfect position to do that. But I, I, I want to get big so that I can accomplish these goals of mine. Um, and I want to make the world a slightly better place, if you know what I mean. I, I, I want to give to the less fortunate so that they can have a chance at their dreams and what they want uh, to accomplish. And obviously I'm going to get hate for that, and quite honestly I'm probably going to give to the haters as well. Because I, I understand from a hater's point of view that... I mean, obviously, I'm not a hater myself. I don't normally hate on things. I, I try to avoid doing that. But I, I do hate on stuff occasionally. And I understand from that perspective, like, it seems unfair that you don't get something that other people get. And I want to abolish that. I want to get rid of that problem by also giving to these haters who, you know, feel like this is unfair. I, I, I want to make it fair, you know? But none of that will be possible if I don't make any money off of this. So, I'm going to need to start changing my content style. Uh, if you haven't noticed, my commentary style and my editing style in my videos has improved. I've been a bit sloppy on the commentary lately, but I, I, I feel like that's just because I need a break. And now we get to the big thing. Well, actually it's pretty small compared to all these other announcements, but I will be taking a break because of my workload that I've had over the last month. Um, or at least a break from making new videos. I have another Hex video that I have pre-recorded and that I have begun editing. I haven't really gotten very far, but that'll be coming out over my break. Also, Neath will be releasing over my break. Um, so there's still going to be a couple videos here and there, but it, it's not going to be a whole lot. Um, it's, it's just going to be stuff that I already have pre-made and ready to be uploaded, just so that I don't have to worry about making new stuff. Um, but then after the break, a lot of stuff is going to be coming up. We're going to be finishing the Hex replayed, or uh, revisited, sorry. We're going to be finishing that, Inscription Revisited. We're going to be finishing series that I haven't gotten done, like my Kindergarten series, Doki Doki Literature Club, um, Katane, uh, or uh, what's what's the full name? Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. That one, we're going to finish that up. And it's, 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 it's going to be a blast once we can get out of this break. Uh, it's also probably good that I take a break now because I'm actually switching semesters. So it would probably be a good idea to do so anyway, because I have a new set of classes, I have a new routine, so it's probably good. It's probably good. It would probably be best if I focused on that first, just get used to that new schedule, and then, once I'm used to it, find time to make YouTube videos. Which I don't think will be very hard, considering my one class is online, and my other two classes, like, I only have three classes, and I basically have my morning and a bit of extra time after school off. So I have a lot more free time, but still, I, I, I want to experience it, and I want to figure it out rather than just assuming that I have time. So with that combination of reasons, I think it's important that I do take a break. Um, but yeah, new stuff will be coming after that. Like, we have uh, the project me and Owen are working on. We have new stuff coming for the Pizza Men channel which we haven't uploaded to for a while. We have, obviously, my book, my video game, which won't be coming very soon, but they'll be coming soon, at least. And we just have so much more stuff that we want to show you, both me and my brother. We, we've we been working hard in the background, and I'm going to be taking a break. I don't know about him. He hasn't really had a huge workload, necessarily, or at least not as big as I have uh, over the last month. Or at least I don't think. I would have to check with him on that. But essentially what I'm trying to say is I'm going to be taking a break 
and then I'm gonna come back bigger and better than ever. Maybe not taller, though. Um, so anyway, uh, that's just the update. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you after the break. Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll still see you during the break with, like, Neath, and I, I won't be making new content, essentially, is, is what I'm saying. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon, I suppose.